Greetings, mini moys. I'm the Casual Prince, and welcome back to another video. It's been a while, I know. Uh, lack of inspiration and a few other things have uh, led to a bit of a another little absence, uh, and I apologise for that. But it's finally time. It's long overdue, but it's time for me to tell you guys who won the July art competition where I gave you guys the task of drawing Dylan and Gardenia together. We've got three entries, so it's a nice first, second, and third. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, and remember, I don't want anyone feeling bad because they didn't win. It's not about winning, it's just about taking part and making some art, and I'm a poet, and I don't even know it. Uh, so yeah, coming in at uh, the number third spot, we have uh, Ma532 or Marielle's contribution, and here it is, Dijon, Dylan, and Gardenia standing next to one another. I like the expression on Dylan's face. He's sort of looking at Gardenia, he's like, hey girl, how's it going? And you know, she's just sort of looking at him, just like, why, why, why are you looking at me like that? I always love how smug you guys draw Dylan. It just fits with his character so much. Uh, but yeah, Marielle, that's, that's really, really nice showing. I like the detail on uh, Gardena's dress. Dylan's outfit, it looks like he's got like a 20 pack of like muscles. It's, it looks amazing. And the, the detail on his shoulders is really nice. Um, as well. Uh, yeah, I, I really like this one. It found great, um, and great contribution to this art competition. And, uh, yeah, great piece of art, Marielle. Now, it was really difficult, and I mean really difficult, to pick between the f second and first spot. Um, I spent the last five minutes sort of thinking it over and trying to decide which one um, I think should win. Um, and I said it was very difficult. But in second place, we have the entry by Lulu is not here, which is this one. And I. I love this one. This is this is another great piece of art. And the reason I like it is because it's for one, it's not something that is I uh, like I don't know what's sort of happening in this situation. It looks like Dylan has just rescued Gardenia from something or somewhere and the I love the the sort of awkwardness that's sort of pervade between them like Gardenia's being... Gardenia looks a lot more vulnerable than she usually is, and Dylan sort of thinking to himself uh, about the two of them, and they're both they're both embarrassed, and it, it's so cute. I, I love it. It's, it's so good, and yeah, it's... Yeah, I love it. It's fantastic, fantastic drawing, Lulu. Amazing. And it only fell short to... The entry by the Mini Moy Knight himself, Keegan Bond. And I had to pick this one just because of the level of detail. It is this one. And he's actually given it a name Dylan and Gardenia Under the Stars. And this is just. Wow. It's. It's fantastic. It's, it's awesome. I love this one. The amount of detail, the fact that they're sitting on a, they're just sitting on a blade of grass. Dylan's enjoying the stars, and I I like it how Gardenia's is looking at him. He, she's sort of just like it's like she's seeing him for the first time. Um, she's nervous, and she sort of seeing that there's there's more under the surface of uh, this sort of quirky. Uh, sometimes sarcastic guys. She's really sort of looking at him. I love the detail. 
on their clothes. I love Gardenia's, like, custom crown. Because I said that the, um... That the... The picture that I showed you guys wasn't really the representation of Gardenia that I imagined. And... Keegan, you, you uh, altered sort of the, the crown looking thing on the original inspiration for Gardenia and you made it your own and added this awesome looking crown and edited the dress and I lo D uh, eh. Dylan's clothes are really nice as well. They look a lot more like royal. They're, this this could be like after they've defeated Mo Well, we don't know if they're going to defeat Mulder. Um, but if they did, like... You know, Dylan's been honoured. Imagine if Dylan was knighted. That's an interesting thought. Uh, but yeah, Dylan looks like he's wearing like royal clothes, and yeah, I, I, this is this is an amazing piece of art, and the fact that it's done by hand and like not digitally is even more so impressive because it's actually a lot easier in my opinion anyway, to do digital art than it is hand-drawn art. Um, but yeah, the, this is a great piece of art, and the detail, the shading, the... just all the little details, the stars, the little fireflies, the blades of grass, all the shadows, and... It's just amazing, it's an amazing piece of art, definitely deserving of the number one spot. So everyone, that was the results for the July art con- It was July, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's just how late I am doing these results. But yeah, thank you to everyone who took part in this. You you guys came up with some really, really nice uh, bits of art. And, um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing what you'll all submit in the next competition, which will be announced on the 23rd of September. Um, and, yeah. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Uh, I apologise once again for the absence. I'm going to start trying to make videos again now. And, yeah. Uh, thank you to everyone who submitted artwork. And if you want to submit artwork in the future, or just submit artwork in general that's not part of any competition, then go and join uh, the Discord, the Casual Prince 8, uh, no, that's my gaming channel, the Seven Kingdoms Discord, uh, the link will be in the description below, and come and join us and have a chat with a bunch of fellow Arthur fans. So yeah, later Minimoys.